When I first bought the Toyota Tundra, used a couple years ago with about 70,000 miles on it, the interior was immaculate. There wasn't one stain on the seats. If you know Toyota interior, especially the Tundras, a drop of water can literally leave a stain mark on your seat. Well, the original owner had some really nice neoprene waterproof covers installed on the seats when he first bought the truck and removed them and threw them away when he listed the car for sale. So I bought it, me and my family continued to pretty much destroy the interior. So now we need to protect those seats. I got some budget friendly seat covers. They're pretty nifty looking, black with some red stitching. They're not the real high end $3,000 seat covers that you have to remove the factory upholstery and reinstall, but they're really easy to install. I think you guys are gonna like them. They're about 100, 120 bucks on Amazon. I'm gonna put a link in the description down below with the discount code for about 10% off. First, we gotta open them up, see what they look like. Installation manual. Pretty nice, perforated with a diamond stitch. This is like high-end stuff, look at that. These are a company called Coverado, C-O-V-E-R-A-D-O. -E they make seat covers, obviously. They seem pretty good quality. Got a sticky material on the back here so they don't slide around. I'll lay them all out. Looks like we have some pockets here on the back for storing things. Front seats here obviously, this is the rear bench seat with the rear bench seat backs and the centerpiece there with all the headrests as well. Instructions and little plastic pieces and hooks used for installation. For the front seats, you first have to install a few hooks and clips on the back. So on these upper elastic straps, you can install the big round plastic clips and then on the bottom, you will do some of the metal hooks. That holds the seat in place once it's slid into its proper position. Bottom portion of the seat gets the hooks. Slide the elastic band right through the opening. The most annoying part of the whole install and probably the most difficult is cleaning out your truck. Clean out all the baby stuff, clean out all the crumbs, maybe even take a vacuum to it because you're gonna have crumbs and dirt and stuff stuck between your car seat and the actual seat cover. So take a few minutes, clean everything out before you get started. My truck has the bench seat in the front with the third seat in the middle. The installation process is similar, but I don't have the center armrest, so we're not gonna install that part. Unzip the very top of the seat cover to make room for the headrest. Might get a little more access if you remove the headrest. Slide, slide, slide it down. Now that the top's installed, you're gonna wanna pull these through the back seat. So just slide them in there as far as you can, and then pull them through on the back. 
on the back of the front seat, you are gonna have to reach up and unhook these elastic straps from the factory because there is this fabric piece so you can't get to the back of the seat where those clips are supposed to come through. Care, be careful of any yellow wire, those are airbag wires. Don't forget to hook those clips back in when you're done installing the front cover. Once everything slid into place, there are two of these elastic hooks that we installed earlier, and they're just gonna reach underneath the seat. Watch the adjustable bar that you use to slide the seat forward and hook them in. Headrest is pretty basic. It just slides right in. Passenger side done, rinse and repeat on the driver side. For the back seat, we're going to start with the passenger side bottom. So first, unclip the straps, put the seat on, these straps are going to go through the back, we're going to lift the seat to do that. And you're going to run it through this side strap before clicking it into place. On this side, just gonna click it like that. And do your adjustments. For the rear portion, make sure you have these in place. Once you slide them through, you can pull them through the bottom there's one and two. Make sure they stay in place when you put the seat down. Yep. And this portion is just gonna clip around the headrest. Pull it through. It's just one little clip. Like this. Crew Max windows roll down if you want to access it a little easier. In the back. Now on to the big side. Starting with the bottom portion, there is one two and three clips and remember to bring that side strap in on the outer part of the cover before clicking it into place mind your seat belts slide your clips through one two and three and then you're gonna pull the seat up to get to those clips remember the outer one has that elastic strap to go through first Readjust, Velcro in place. Now this part. The large blank flat piece with the chuck is for the center seat. And this one with the two chucks is for the outside seat. Push the chucks through, you get the drill. You can check underneath, make sure that they pop in place over the headrest, clip it into place. Once you get the center chuck into place and through the bottom, there is zippers on each side of this is that zip into the outer section. Don't forget the seat belt. You zip them into place. The little blank piece is for the center headrest. Just a little clip.
full disclosure, Cover Auto did send me these seat covers to try out and review, so thank you for that. So I have to remember the intended purpose of these seat covers is to preserve the OEM seats. These are not the seat covers that are custom handmade to tailor fit over factory foam where you zip off the factory covers, you install the beautiful leather $3,000 seats. These are about under $150. So like I said, I just want to preserve the factory seats from milk, from kids, from me, from dirt, from spills, from my wife and everything in between. So for the money, I don't really think you can go wrong. If I get a year or two out of these and it protects the seats, I think it's money well spent.